Next, we have poster 57 titled Effect of COVID-19 on Routine Health Care, an Experience of a Tertiary Care Unit. The authors are Gamkaranage C, Vijay Sundara D and Jaya Singh S. The presenting author is Vijay Sundara D. Good morning, Madam Chairperson, judges and dear colleagues. Uh, I am Dr. Devasmita Vijayasundra, Registrar Medicine. I am here to present our study on the effect of COVID-19 on routine health care and experience in a tertiary health care unit. And uh, I think this is of current clinical importance considering the impending second wave of the pandemic. Um, as we all know, the WHO uh, declared COVID-19 as a global pandemic on the 11th of March 2020 and a uh, lockdown uh, was put into effect from the third week of March in Sri Lanka. And uh, this had a significant positive effect in curtailing the virus transmission, but we noted drastic changes in uh, routine ward work. And this was observed uh, worldwide as well. In fact, uh, there was a WHO survey, rapid assessment survey conducted over 163 countries, which showed more than 50% of countries reporting uh, near complete or complete disruption of routine healthcare services. So our objective was to describe the trends of uh, routine healthcare service provision during uh, the pandemic situation. So this was uh, conducted at the University Medical uh, Unit at uh, National Hospital of Sri Lanka. Data was collected over a period of nine weeks, that is uh, one week prior to the epidemic and uh, eight weeks following the announcement of the lockdown. And uh, as you can see uh, in the first bar chart, there was a significant reduction in the number of admissions. That is, uh, by the third week, the male ward admissions had come down by 40% of uh, pre-epidemic values, and in the female ward by 34%. And uh, the next two uh, charts show the trend of uh, ultrasound scans and echocardiograms done, calculated per patient. And uh, you can see the trend over the uh, few uh, epidemic weeks. Uh, with regard to the absolute number of uh, ultrasound scans and echocardiograms done, uh, in the male ward, there was a 19% uh, reduction um, from weeks 2 to 8. In the female ward, it was 42% reduction. Absolute echocardiograms reduced by 77% in the male ward and by 100% in the female ward during this period. Uh, regarding the statistical significance of our data, the absolute uh, number of uh, echocardiograms and ultrasound scans were statistically significantly low, and uh, when calculated per patient basis, uh, the number of echocardiograms per patient in the female ward is statistically significantly reduced. Uh, so in conclusion, I'd like to say that uh, the COVID-19 pandemic has had a negative impact on routine healthcare service provision. So the objective is to improve on that uh, during future epidemics and uh, possible second wave. I would also like to mention that uh, this was a pilot study and currently we are conducting a survey, a clinic-based survey to assess the changes in clinical parameters in uh, non-communicable disease patients with regard to the COVID pandemic. Thank you. The paper is now open for discussion. Yeah, I think uh, it's obvious that the routine care is affected during the lockdown situation. Uh, my question is whether there are any, like, you know, like, you know, uh, omissions or, like, you know, uh, disruption to the very essential or life threatening type of, you know, services. Uh, emergency, we can keep it is out of your scope, but I am yes. sure. That is what we want in a situation where the people who need a regular or proper, uh, you know, appropriate care schedule, yes. were, were these such, uh, you know, plans were disrupted? No, they were not disrupted. Uh, mainly the reduction in the number that we observed. One was that the routine and planned uh, ultrasounds and CT scans, those things were not there. And also there was a higher threshold to go for imaging and further evaluation. For an example, when you take uh, echocardiograms in the investigation of possible endocarditis, the, we got a guideline from the cardiologist saying uh, there had to be a clear indication. So I wouldn't say that uh, emergencies and essential services were disrupted. It's mainly the routine health care. And perhaps this is something to think about to limit the unnecessary investigations that we ask for as well. Yeah, I think we have to interpret these results 
in the context of the need and the, the requirements say if the covid related complications screening or something is recommended then we would expect an increase of that service whereas uh, certain services can be sort of minimized in order to optimize the the care right yes, in sir. interpretation is very important in that thank yes, you right thank you sir. thank you please give a round of applause to the presenting author